This video is how to um, insert a nasopharyngeal airway, an alternative to a Gadel airway, in an unconscious or semi-conscious patient. So first you begin by sizing the appropriate airway using the little finger of the patient, which should match the diameter of the airway to be inserted. So this one is clearly too small. This airway is a more appropriate size. It also has a safety pin in the end that is used um, after insertion to prevent inhalation of the airway. So to, uh, before inserting an airway, it's important to check for any contraindications, which would be signs of a basal skull fracture, panda eyes, battle sign, etc., um, in which case the airway wouldn't be suitable and a different adjunct should be used. Um, assuming those signs aren't present, you would then lubricate the end of the airway uh, select the appropriate nostril and insert back through the uh, nasopharynx and down into the oropharynx. Um, if you then open the mouth, um, possibly with the use of a tongue depressor, you should be able to confirm the location of the airway. And it should end up in that sort of position, but inside the patient.